Kia ora, Helen Browns from Cruise Planners here. Hey, got some exciting news. I just finished um, attending a live presentation by the um, American Queen Steamboat Company, and they do river cruises here in the United States. So you're talking about um, river cruises on, let's see, oops, about to lost my piece of paper. Um, we're looking at... Um, Cruises along the Lower and Upper Mississippi, the Ohio, Tennessee, and, Colum and Cumberland Rivers, as well as um, Columbia and Snake Rivers as well. So it was really cool. It was a great presentation. And um, this here is a picture of the, um, of the American Queen. She is the only, the only true steam paddle boat left in the U.S. For, for that actually runs on true steam. They actually um, got an original engine. They've got the paddle there on the back. It holds about 400 passengers, and it does the um, the uh, Mississippi, the Tennessee, the, I'm still learning all these rivers, Ohio and the Cumberland. But it's the only true sailing, paddle sailing ship left in the U.S. Then you have the American Empress, and she does up in the American North uh, Pacific Northwest, where she does the um, Snake and Columbia Rivers. So they do that up there. And then coming next year, around June of next year, they're going to be introducing the American Duchess. She's a, um, a bit smaller than the, um, about half the size of the American Queen. So she'll be going into some of the smaller um, towns and that along the rivers. But she'll be basically mirroring, mirroring the same cruises that the... Um, American Queen does along the Mississippi, the Ohio, the Tennessee, and the Cumberland. Um, it was a phenomenal presentation. The, the pictures that we saw of the rooms were just amazing. The, um, the Duchess is going to be an all-sweet um, boat. Their smallest, their smallest room is going to be about 220 square feet. Um, through to the, And they're actually going to have loft suites also, too, available on the ship. Um, where they go because there's big 20 foot ceilings, so they're making advantage of it. They've got like the living room area downstairs, then upstairs they have the bedroom area. So, downstairs you've got about 300 and something square feet, upstairs in the bedroom area we've got about 200 and something square feet. So, it's amazing. And they all have um showers over the tubs, so you've got that nice extra space, not the crammed um showers that you normally get on a cruise ship. Um, so these are absolutely gorgeously appointed ships. The queen that was showing pictures of the of the entryway and that this gorgeous gorgeous um grand staircase and the whole th idea of these ships is that they're actually done in similar style to what you would have seen in the 1800s when these were on the mississippi going up and down and they just look phenomenal they've got the saloon the saloon there where you can go in and watch all their entertainment and stuff on board the ship they even have and it's done up like an opera house and they even have the opera boxes and the opera boxes on the american queen are for um, those in the suites only and then they do have one opera box which holds about a dozen people which is open to anybody um, so you've got some great um, cruises along there so if you want any more information just um, send us a private message and we'll be able to get that taken care of for you they do think oh they do theme cruises and we did a, um, a, feedback, a Facebook live last week I think it was on different types of theme cruises some of the theme crews they do on this one, on the American Queen, are the Mark Twain one. They go to the areas of Mark Twain's stories and you learn some of the history about Mark Twain. They also have the Christmas market cruises where they go into the um, into some of the antebellum um, plantations and stuff. Um, they also have um, the bourbon cruises. So for all you bourbon drinkers they have the, who like your bourbon, they have bourbon cruises. So they actually go along to some of the distilleries and you get to do walking tours and some tastings at some of the distilleries on board the ship. They will be doing classes about bourbon, what it is, how it's distilled, what makes a good bourbon, um, and things like that. So everything you can learn about bourbon. Um, some of the other cruises they had was um, up in the Pacific Northwest on the Columbia and Snake Rivers. They do the um, wine wine cruises up there so they have a whole, whole variety of different types of theme cruises that they have you can even do a civil war one um for down on the mississippi up into Ohio. and the themes they were talking about i just can't wait to actually get on one of these rivers and go and try one of these although the problem is i want to do several of them 
because they had so many good ones. Like I love Christmas market cruises. I did the ones in Europe and they were just phenomenal to do. I'd love to do an American one. They have, um, you know, um, the wine one, I'm not too sure. I'm not, doesn't worry about the bourbon. I would go on just to see how it's done. I'm not a drinker, but I just want to go along and see how it's done and get the atmosphere of it and learn more about it. Um, the Civil War one, I'm a history buff, so you've got all that history down in the area, the Civil War history, as well as just American history as well. So a great option if you, and of course, no passports required unless you are coming in from another country, but then you've got to go through immigration and other airports. So, but if you want to do something that's home-based, um, they've got some great home-based ports here. You go out of New Orleans, they've got ones going out of Nashville. Um, was it Nashville? Yeah, they've got ones going out of Louisville. Um, then up in... Um, Portland, they've got you going out of the ones in there, which I, oh God, name's totally, for, well, of course, Portland, Oregon, up in Portland, Portland, Oregon, jeepers, brain fry, um, but anyway, great cruises, and there's just so much up there, all the history, and of course, on the one, um, the Snake River and the Columbia River, you're going to be learning about Lewis and Clark and what they did up in that area as well as um, some more American history too, along with wine tours and all that sort of stuff. So a great way to um, see the U.S., learn some U.S. history, um, and experience some different cultures that you may not have experienced. Because I know that even myself traveling around the U.S., there are different cultures based in the different areas that you are in. So it's a great way to be an adventurer and get out there and try something new. So again, if you want to find out more about the um, the American Oh, I've got to show you this picture because this queen's gorgeous. See, the American Queen, the only paddle steamship available in the U.S. In fact, in the world, is the only one left. I think she said the world. It's the world or just the U.S.? It's the only one definitely in the U.S. But if you want to find out more about this great cruise line and some of the amazing itineraries that they have, just send us a private message and we'll be happy to hook you up and get you set up and answer any questions you have. Until next time, heck on era.